Hello and welcome back to the Greek Pyramid. It is now day 10 of the 12 days of Christmas videos, so we are getting very close to Christmas now, and I thought we could take a look at how AI answers Percy Jackson questions. We are going to be trying this on ChatGPT, and I thought, why not see how it reacts to prompts or questions regarding the Percy Jackson universe? So let's jump straight in. First up we have, who is the most powerful demigod in Percy Jackson? In the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, Percy Jackson is considered the most powerful demigod. He is a demigod, the son of the Greek god Poseidon, and a mortal woman. Throughout the series, Percy demonstrates exceptional abilities and battles against powerful monsters and gods. He is also able to wield the legendary sword of the hero Perseus, known as Riptide. Okay, that's a reasonably conclusive answer. Let's see what happens if we ask it about maybe battling another member. So who would win in a fight between Percy and Nico? Okay, so it doesn't come to any concrete conclusions per se. It does have some more info. So it says in the, it says they are both powerful demigods with unique abilities and weapons at their disposal. Percy is shown to be a skilled fighter and is able to wield the sword Riptide, which can kill monsters and gods. Nico, Greek, son of the Greek god Hades, and has the ability to control the dead. He is also able to wield the sword Kopesh of Hades, which can also kill monsters and gods, determined by individual skill, skill and specific circumstances of a fight. So what if we put a specific circumstance on it and see if it has any more information? Okay, so who would win in a fight if it was at a beach? Obviously trying to push it slightly in Percy's favour. Percy is a son of the Greek god Poseidon has control over water, which give, would give him an advantage in a fight at a beach. However, Nico is a Greek son a son of the Greek god Hades and has the ability to control the dead, which could also give him an advantage in battle. Next up, I thought we could take a leaf out of Apollo's book and ask it to write a haiku about Apollo. Golden sun god Apollo, rays of light dance on the earth, bringing warmth and life. Well, if we make it about Apollo becoming human, for example. Apollo in human form, golden sun god now mortal, beauty never fades. You know what, some of these are better than Apollo's haikus, I'm not going to lie. Sticking on the ideas of poems within the Percy Jackson universe, what if we get it to write a poem about Percy Jackson and see what it comes up with? So, Percy Jackson, son of Poseidon, with power and strength beyond compare, his quest to save the world began with a lightning bolt in his hand and a heart of gold. Through trials and tribulations he fought, defying odds and proving his worth. With friends by his side, and monsters to vanquish, he embarked on a journey through the earth. Through the lands of the gods he travelled, facing dangers at every turn, but with bravery and determination, he overcame every obstacle and learned. Percy Jackson, hero of the ages, a true champion of the gods, with his sword and shield by his side, he stands tall and proud, a symbol of hope. I mean, that's better than any poetry I could write personally. So write a limerick about Percy Jackson finding out Luke Castellan is a traitor. There once was a boy named Percy, whose discovery was quite scary. He found out Luke Ca Catalan was a traitor most chillin. Now Percy must face the fury of Charbidis. Yeah, you're not wrong. That's, yeah, that's what Char Charbidis is, the sea of monsters. So that, yeah, that's pretty good. Sticking on the ideas of having Luke within them, what does it say about Luke being a hero? Some people on the Camp Half-Blood Reddit are very 50-50. It's a bit of a split. It is dis difficult to say whether Luke Castellan was a hero or not, as he is a fictional character from the Percy Jack... Yeah, okay. In the books, Luke is portrayed as a complex character who struggles with inner demons and makes both good and bad choices. Some may view him as a hero because of his loyalty to his friends and his determination to do what he believes is right, whilst others may view his actions as selfish and misguided. Ultimately, whether or not someone views Luke as a hero will depend on their own personal interpretation of his actions and motivations. Wow, okay, yeah, fair enough, yeah. I suppose it all depends on whether you think that final sacrifice makes him a hero or not after causing death and destruction for the past few years. Okay, so explain the entire Percy Jackson series in less than a hundred words. The Percy Jackson series is a five-book fantasy adventure series written by Rick Riordan. The series follows the adventures of a teenage boy named Percy Jackson as he discovers he is a demigod, the son of a mortal woman and the Greek god Poseidon. Along with his friends Annabeth and Grover, Percy sets out on a series of quests to prevent a war between the gods and protect the world from monsters. 
The series includes elements of Greek mythology as well as modern day settings and challenges. You know what, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good explanation of the Percy Jackson series. I would have maybe expected a little bit of Kronos in there or some kind of uprising of the Titans, but overall, that's not bad at all. Because it is Percy Jackson a well-developed character. As a character, Percy is often described as brave, loyal and determined. He also is known for his quick thinking and resourcefulness, and he is shown to be a capable leader throughout the series. In terms of character development, Percy undergoes significant changes in growth over the course of the series, which is typical of many main characters in literature. Overall, Percy Jackson is a well-developed character who is an important part of the story. I'd be a bit surprised if he wasn't an important part of the story. So the last one for this video I thought we could do, write a poem about the Heroes of Olympus team. Heroes of Olympus, team so bold, with powers divine they never fold. Percy Jackson, son of the sea, with a sword in hand, he's ready to be. Annabeth Chase, daughter of wisdom true, shall outsmart the foes with plans that are new. Leo Valdez, master of fire and sparks, his inventions they'll put the titans in the dark. Piper McLean, charm and persuasion her gift, shall win over the hearts of those who've been stiff. Jason Grace, leader of the team, debatable, with his bravery he's not one to demean. Hazel Levesky, her past will of shame, but with her friends she's not one to blame. Frank Zhang, his strength unyielding, with him by your side you'll feel like you're shielding. Together they fight for the greater good, their bond it is strong, it is never subdued. Heroes of Olympus, they stand tall, for the gods in their quest, they'll give their all. That's pretty good, it's got all of the characters in there, that's pretty basic stuff about all of them. That is all for this video, this is definitely not the best way to use chat GPT. Like some of the things I've seen people been using it for online is pretty impressive. However, trying to change it, this is what I could come up with when trying to change it for this YouTube channel. And I thought it brought up some interesting points. It did start telling me when I, there are probably some things that have been cut from this video. It started telling me that I should stop trying to ask who would win in a fight and things like that because it's not productive. And I should instead focus on the happier parts of people's characters, which I guess I, I could have done as well. If you have any prompts, or if you test this out at all and have some really interesting and fun responses, either leave them down in the comments down below or you can tweet me with your with anything that seems really interesting but it's really long. On that note, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye.